color. flushes really that I suffered from. Um, I think I drove everybody daft having to stand outside. Um, just I just couldn't cut windows open, didn't want the wood burner on, all sorts of things. It was it was really um, yes, I'm, I'm glad that it was all sort of over. Yes. I, it could have been worse. Right. Um, but yes, but unfortunately now she'll be going through it again. Yes, explain us a little bit about that, because you've been through once, and now what's happened yeah. to you? Um, well, unfortunately, I was diagnosed with breast cancer uh, at the beginning of this year, and then I had to have an operation, obviously, to remove that. But I've now got to take tablets for the next five years, mm. um, which stops all the oestrogen, which will again now sort of put me back into the menopause. Um, so I'll get all the hot flushes, the aching joints, um, a possibility of osteoporosis. Um, so really, um, I just, I've just got to go through it and I've wow. got to suffer it and everybody around me's got to have the windows open and the doors open and, um, and I just can't wait now to be able to get back into the cold water swimming so that I right. can enjoy myself and, and actually sort of try and, try and let it all go. I feel a sense that it's not, you know, we might all be going through it, but it causes ripples in families, doesn't it? Oh, it does, yeah. So, um, how are you, you've, you've seen her go through this once, how do you prepare now again? Um, I don't really. <laughs> um, she just has the windows open, mm. and she, we'll just put her outside <laughs> in the cold weather. And, yeah, just basically we just have to deal with it really, don't we? Yeah. Last night, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what struck me about this, I've learned so much um, personally this week. For example, you mentioned a few of the symptoms there. I think uh, there are so many questions and there's so much, you know, I, I was really ignorant. I thought this wouldn't happen until I was 55, for example. You, you, you mentioned, you know, there are so many different things that can happen to you. Oh, yes. I mean, mine started really, I was quite early with mine. Um, mm. It was, un unfortunately, I lost my father um, to esophageal cancer. And that was actually what started or sparked my, my menopause. Um, it all kicked in dr during that. With, uh, whether it started with stress, I don't know. But yes. that was that was how it all kicked in originally. Um, I've um, started doing. I've mentioned earlier. Um, I've started doing menopause bingo with my friends because there are 34 different symptoms, <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually quite fun uh, to go through them and tick them off. But listen, thank you so very much. And I know that cold water, as you say, is cold water swimming really helps you. Um, we'd love to know from you as well. What it's so brilliant here to hear all of the stories this morning and brilliant to have all your families with us as well. Good morning. Good morning, isn't it great? Come and meet Melanie and Becky, mum and daughter. Tell me your experience and how you're going to pass on kind of knowledge to your daughter. 
Well, I've already been through the menopause, um, but now because of uh, breast cancer, I've now got to go through the second menopause, oh, wow. which I'm dreading. I've got to take tablets for the next five years, but I'm trying to, put, to sort of get through to my daughter that life is for living. You've got to go out and embrace everything that's offered to you. Don't, yeah. don't hold back. Just go and do what you need to do. To and get deal life. with what yeah, you need deal. to deal and, with. And you have to deal with whatever life throws at you. You can't, there's no second chance. You've got to take everything that's there. How she coped with everything. She's doing okay at the moment. Yeah. Smooth swings a little bit, but <laughs> just take it as is. Not as easy. It comes. No. Not easy. Let me introduce no. Alison and Nia now. Another mum and daughter. Hello to both Hello. of you. Um, come on, Nia. How's she been? <laughs> well, she's just been really stressed and moody. Like that's not the impression <laughs> I got when I saw you on the video earlier. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was the yeah, anger more than anything, I think. Yeah. And fluctuated between anger and anxiety, which is very, very strange. And difficult. How did you yeah. do that then? How did you cope? What were the mechanisms? What were the Going to the doctor and insisting that I wasn't depressed. Yeah. That I thought it was something more than depression. Yeah. Or less than depression, I don't know. Um, so I had HRT and then I found the cold water swimming, which put things in context and, yes. Life is worth living. Very much worth living and don't put up with it. Okay. Go to see the doctor. Yeah. You can and remember you're not going mad. Not going mad. Absolutely not. Let me introduce Sean, Alan and Sarah, daughter-in-law, yeah. mum and dad. What have you taken from the experience here? I think a lot of the time menopausal symptoms are just sort of written off as, oh, it's just the menopause. Um, and I think what I've taken from Sean and swimming with all these women is that it's a big thing. It's real. And yeah, it's something that really needs to be talked about. And it isn't talked about. Um, we need to. Yeah. That's where we are. Is it true that you've been itching to get into the uh, fountain? Yeah, I'm trying to get in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my swimsuit. The producer's been going, can we let her? Can, yeah, can we, we let her? They go, no, no. no. <laughs> I might just pop into the pond anyhow. There's your closing shot, director. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be with you. Thank you. Because... Has it been difficult, husband? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's up and down. But I think the cold water swimming has definitely made a big difference. Brilliant. It's brilliant to hear. One of the most impactful films of the week, 